Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon, or good evening, or good night, depending on what time you're watching this. It is, I forgot what day it is, Monday, April 10th, 2023. I have no idea. It's 7.20 in the morning. Okay. This is... Part 10, Nicholas Sparks, True Believer. On cue, Jeremy reached into his jacket pocket and pulled out what appeared to be the same USA pin attached to a long thread like wire and transmitter. This particular model is manufactured in Israel. Jeremy's voice could be heard over the camera close up of the gadget, and it's very high end. I've heard it's used by the CIA, but of course, I can't confirm that. What I can tell you is that the technology is very advanced. This little microphone can pick up conversations from across a noisy, crowded room. And with the right filtering system, can even isolate them. Diane inspected the pen with apparent fascination. Blah. And you're certain that this was indeed a microphone and not just a pen? Well, as you know, I've been looking into Clausen's past for a long time now, and a week after the show, I managed to obtain some more photographs. A new photograph flashed on the screen. Though a bit grainy, it was a picture of the same man who'd been wearing the USA pen. This photo was taken in Florida outside Clausen's office. As you can see, the man is heading inside. His name is Rex Moore, and he's actually an employee of Clausen's. He's worked with Clausen for two years. Oh, Alvin shouted, and the rest of the broadcast, which was winding down anyway, was drowned out as others, jealous or not, joined in with hoots and hollers. The free booze had worked its magic, and Jeremy was deluged with congratulations after the show had ended. You are fantastic, Nate said. At 43, Nate was short and balding and had a tendency to wear suits that were just a bit too tight in the waist. No matter, the man was energy incarnate, and, like most agents, positively buzzed with fervent optimism. Thanks, Jeremy said, downing the remainder of his beer. <laughs> this is going to be big for your career, Nate went on. It's your ticket to a regular television gig. No more scrambling for lousy freelance mag magazine work. No more chasing UFO stories. I've always said that with your looks, you were made for TV. You have always said that, Jeremy conceded with an eye-rolling manner of someone reciting an oft-given lecture. I mean it. The producers from Primetime Live at GMA keep calling, talking about using you as a regular contributor on their shows. You know what this late breaking science news means for you and all that? A big leap for a science reporter. I'm a journalist, Jeremy sniffed. Not a reporter, whatever Nate said, making a motion as if brushing away a fly. Like I've always said, your looks are made for television. That's all for part 10. Nicholas Sparks, True Believer. Thank you for watching.